Good afternoon, everybody. Right, as promised, I'll do a video on this one-off uh, New York City edition Brompton. Now, what's special about this bike I have in front of me is um, it was actually built um, post-production. So if you remember back in 2017, uh, Brompton had the New York City edition release, 1500 bikes. Now, this one was actually made after the production run and it's the only one known in existence that was done post the initial release so this bike was actually owned by somebody that actually worked for Brompton and um, what happened was it was agreed whilst he was working there at Brompton that this bike would actually be built for him um, and it was done using the original parts for the New York City edition. So it's got the lime green crank set. The front is lime green and also the rear hose is in lime green and also the saddle lime green there. And also the New York City edition bag on the front. It's the original one, the brand new and also the Ergon grips. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually talk you through the bike now um, I'll have to read off my notes because I can't remember everything. Um, so the bike, as I said, was built in 2008 to the latest build standards for the New York City edition. Um, subsequently, the, uh, the previous owner then made the following upgrades and all work was actually carried out in a Brompton workshop. So what they do is they upgraded the titanium forks up the front to be the super light one. And also the rear triangle is a super light one that was taken from the chapter three. It has the aluminium headset, which is here to make it more lightweight. It has the titanium mudguard stays there, so to make it lighter. And also the actual inner tubes are actually lightweight as well, front and rear, just to save even more weight. Um, these actual wheels are actually special so at the front you can see it's actually got lime green nipples on the actual wheels which are actually quite unique if you can see it at that angle there and also the rear's got the lime green nipples as well now um these are actually hand built um so they consist of something called the sapum laser spokes which are lightweight and also it has these special sabum matching green iodized aluminium nipples um, at the front i believe it's 14 holes to make it lighter and at the back is 28 holes on the rear it has a standard new york city hub at the back now the difference between this bike and a standard bike is this one has nine gears believe it or not and I'll show you that in a second, just to talk you through that. It also has Kojak tyres, uh, which are the Schwalbe ones, which come from the Chapter 3. And all the actual wheels and all the work on the wheels was actually hand-built, not done by machines. Now, additional components that came with this bike to make it even lighter are as follows. It has the carbon handlebars, so going across there, S-type, to make it lighter. And also it has um, something called DT Swiss three-stage dropper post levers, which are here. So I'll talk you through the nine speed in a second, but predominantly this one over here is three clicks. So one, two, three for the three speeds for the internal hub. And the opposite side where you usually get the plus and minus, it's got a lever, which actually goes into three positions to match three sprockets on the back. So if I can do one, two and three, so quite special. It's also got something called inline cable adjustment. So if I can find the actual cable here, once you've actually fitted it, you can adjust it here instead of going to the back and adjusting it there, which is more tricky. So it's got inline cable adjustment. And also the Jaguar Kevlar cables are the actual lighter ones. So these ones here, they're the lighter ones. And it's also got these ones, which I've never seen before which are the cable guides. So it actually keeps them apart, which is pretty cool, so they don't rub together. So there you can see one, and there's another one there. It's quite special indeed. And also, 
as I mentioned, it's got the Chapter 3 Town Wall tyres. Um, it's also got an upgraded Brompton chain ring, so at the front is actually 5014, not the uh, standard 50 you would get with a 6 speed. As I said, this is a, a very special one off post production run, New York City edition. So I think this is the only one in existence um, that's built to the standard New York City, except it's super light. The bike actually weighs in at 10.3 kilograms, so it's about two kilograms less than a standard New York City edition that I did in a previous video. Um, I'll give you a quick close up now. So it's got the ergon grips, as I mentioned. It's got the post drop levers here, three speeds, and then three levers at the back for the actual cogs. So three times three is nine speed. Um, it's got the carbon handle bar there. I can show you the bag at the front. It's a standard New York City edition. It's a Vespertine. It's got the standard light at the front, which has the same as the other bike that did. So press it once to get the constant beam. Press it again, and it goes through the flashing stage. And constant again. As I mentioned, just hold it down, switch it off. Let me just show you the Vespertine logos here, New York City edition. So this is all comes with the New York City edition. This one has actually been ridden in the Brom Drum World Championships, believe it or not. So I left the sticker on. Just to just to show you, you could have actually seen this bike at the event, which will be pretty cool too. It's got a uh, standard New York City seat post. It's got the light on the back as well. So this came just with this bike. So if I press the button here, get the flashing, get the constant, and you get the brightness, which is just one place. So switch, hold it down, switch it off again. If I can show you the button here, there you go. Just hold that down, the white button. Now at the back it's got the battery powered light and also the nine speed here. I believe it was modified to fit the three cogs in, which I haven't seen done on the Brompton before, which makes it very, very special indeed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you all soon. Have a good day. Cheers, bye.